Uh, welcome back to another episode of Austria, where guys, we are doing our usual Austrian thing, I guess, where we are combining men to make a new army. Because obviously our old army is dead, and we have to basically make a new one. I mean, this is, this is how it usually goes, so, yeah. You guys go over here, by the way. I want you guys to be down there protecting my land. Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to spread out my soldiers so we're all fair and equal. And Germany apparently took the entire land from France without really fighting them at all. Which is really weird, because I was expecting a big gigantic battle between those two, but apparently they just kind of... Meh. <laughs> so, anyways. We're going to casually go attack the, uh, Tibet, uh, Formasians. Basically, basically modern day, um, Taiwan. And we're just going to destroy them. In a very, very easy manner. I mean, it won't take too much effort to conquer this little tiny island. Little Time Island of really, really advanced, like, I think they have 800k, yeah. 800k on this little island alone. Man, that makes you feel like it's such a big country. Seriously, China, China is such a big country, and if you can, we just need to start having lots of extra territorial torality happen to us. Well, actually, I'm specifically waiting for them to start breaking up into little tiny empires all around their country, so then I can just go in and go conquer them. But they haven't really, for some reason, they haven't really had that many, like, big, gigantic, like, empire, you know, destructive things happen. You know what, Milton C., sure. They could be a little bit mad at me for a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Serbia, you guys aren't that important anymore. Okay. You know what? Stop putting influence in these guys. They aren't that important. Okay, let's go put some influence in somebody else. Because I feel like somebody else is about to drop. Let's see. Who's about to drop right now? Canada is about to move up. Oh my goodness, Canada is about to become a great power. Oh wow, that really does not entail good things for us in the future. The Canadians are coming to power, people. The Canadians are coming to power. Okay, uh, decrease the, uh, just destroy Italy then. I don't really care that much about Serbia anymore. Um, people I do care about though. Um, mostly these guys actually, if I must be honest. I don't really care about anyone really in India, except for, hmm, can I go conquer China right now? I mean, Korea, oh my god, we can go conquer Korea in like two steps, okay, we have to go do that. <laughs> I know I don't, I don't, it, it's usually, I don't usually like to conquer Korea, but Korea's right now only five mil military, I mean, really five, at the max five stuff, so that's pretty good. Okay, and I like that. So let's go do that. Plus that, like, brings... My empire is going to be growing so big in a couple days. Like, literally, we have 26 people right now. Oh, my God. Look how many... My mom... <laughs> this is really good or really bad, people. You tell me. You tell me if this is really good or really bad. God, dang. I can't even tell what my culture is anymore. We have so much of everything. You know about those Austrians? They have a little of everything in them. Like, I think that's the most truest statement ever. Oh my goodness. <sighs> well, at least we'll actually have a real land, a real land border with the actual Qing Empire. So, when we need to, we can actually go and con conquer them. Lose? Yeah, we can. We can lose some cattle and some stuff. Cause I don't really care that much. Um, China definitely does not like me because I'm a Western, a Westerner, even though I've never specifically done anything to China, and they really should not hate me because I'm not that bad of a guy, but yeah, we're just, oh my goodness, this feels too easy. This is why, this is the, this is the real, this is a really good reason for the, for getting the popular demand mod, because it makes you feel so powerful about this game, late in the game, and I mean, you conquer things so easily, I mean, it's unreal how easily you conquer stuff. I mean, there's, I, and, and I know there's absolutely no one that can stop me over here. At least over here. I mean, there's people back in my own, in the back in the, uh, in Europe that could stop me, but they're not going to care about me conquering other nations, unless they're in a, specifically in their sphere, but they're not really going to care to the utmost and to the sincere effect. So, I'm basically, I basically have free reign to go and go take out as many of these nations as I want, and no one's going to stop me. Oh, it's, it's such a... It's such a, oh my goodness, they actually have an army done. Okay. 
they have a little bit more arm. Korea, I also have to remember, has a little bit bigger army than I believe. So I'm probably going to have to send more than what I have over there already. Which is going to annoy me, but yeah. Because I'm pretty sure Korea, Korea is going to give me a fight. They're not just going... If I remember correctly from my little bit backwards, let's go, let's go do some connections here. If I remember from my can, Canadian campaign, they took a major beating, but yet they held me off for a good amount of time. So I'm going to... If I, I have to wisely crush their armies, quick. Gas attack! <laughs> Never mind! Never mind! Oh, God. Oh, God. Never mind. I, I don't think I'm going to need to be careful anymore. Oh, you you guys are doomed now. Like, I, I'm so sorry, Korea. You guys are never going to live. With, with my gas attack capabilities, I basically got... Not even your numbers matter anymore to me. I can defeat you even with the most numbers you're ever going to muster up in your entire lives. Oh my goodness, there's nothing you guys can do about it. Okay, Serbia, I seriously do not want you. What of that do you not understand? Okay, you know what? I'm just not going to increase the relationship with you. Okay, decrease opinion of Japan. You know what? Can we do Italy again? No. Alright, Japan. I don't really like Japan. But I don't really like Netherlands either, but... I'll go beat them up. I can beat them up on my own time. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Oh. And are they sieging my land down here? Yeah, they are. Well, we could probably just dock up here for a little bit. It doesn't really matter. They're not going to get through this land anytime soon, especially with level 3 and only 5 men. That's just not going to happen. So I'm going to go see. I'm probably gonna, I could probably siege this down. Then I'm probably going to have to go crush that army over there. Yeah, I could probably siege this down pretty quickly. And then I'm probably going to go siege that army, then go attack that army, and then just keep moving up from there. As we slowly conquer all of Korea, too. Because our empire as colonialist is pretty big and pretty expensively powerful. Because that's how we operate. We're pretty big and pretty expensively powerful. Alright. So let's get some of this stuff, by the way. Let's get some, like, feminism. I can't really say it, but yeah, you get what I mean. Let's get some of that. Let's go destroy some of these armies. Dig in, intervene immediately. Yeah, so basically what that digging spot means is I should probably just start fighting just defensive wars. Because defensively is how you should rest. No! Heck no! Everyone becomes jindoist. We are all jindoist. All hail the jindoist. Jindoist, we praise thee. Jindoist, we praise... Guys, yeah, please go get out of this. Seriously. Yeah, come on, come on. No, you guys want to attack me? Okay, you guys are gonna do the dance. I hate the dance. All right. Yeah, and I don't and I don't play the dance. So it's either you guys are going to die. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and apparently the Ottomans had another little rebellion. I don't know why the country keeps going to badness. It isn't like I was the root of the cause, or I was the problem, or I was the reason why they have so many difficulties. Peace. And yeah, okay. We're just gonna crush all you guys. Oh my goodness, good times. I'm having, you guys, I'm having so much fun with this campaign. You guys don't even know. Like, it feels so good just to be like, just going in and gonna go conquer anything. Assimilation rate, yes, 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 I want assimilation. If I could get more people to actually assimilate to my country, that'd be really nice. But we have a very diverse population right now. A very, very diverse population. Half of my country can't even work, but they do provide good taxes, which is always a good thing. Okay, go crush these guys, please. There we go, we finally caught them. Yes, yes, okay. There we go. Now let's go right here, let's go siege up that militaristic enforcement, long uh, logistic advisement. Let's see, is there anything else we need to siege down? No, we're pretty much advanced over there. Uh, we're basically advanced right now in terms of military. We don't have to really tech down any more of that. We could probably get down some of these things. Probably also get down some social psychological stuff. Let's do some of this because reinforcements really do sound nice. Like if I could have better reinforcements, that'd be really nice. Research points! Hooray! Yeah, go research points. Uh-huh. Go research. Go research. Go research. Yeah. Yeah. Go research. Yeah. Go research. So... We're also going to, yeah, this is basically, this entire place over here is just basically being conquered by me, and it's really 
kind of sad, but really not. So let's just keep building more soldiers over there in, in our land. We lose two militancy. All right, you guys are about done. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but I basically won everything I need to. And right now, I'm just kind of sieging because to siege, I guess. I mean, we, we really don't need to be fighting this anymore. I'm going to be honest. I'm already, I'm already in North Korea. Really. We don't need to be fighting this. You guys know you guys need to give up. I will win this. I guarantee it. For some reason, they're also breaking down that. They're also breaking down the capital pretty easily, which means I'm probably going to have to deal with some little bit of issues there. So as soon as they're done with that, there we go. Go! Go, my men. Travel! They should have to start retreating before. Yep, there we go. Alright. Go crush these guys. These guys are going to annoy me. There we go. Bye-bye. Okay, go here next, and let's just keep sieging. You guys about ready to give up? <laughs> like, seriously, I don't, we don't need to be fighting this. We don't need to be fighting this. Especially you, Denam. You guys, in fact, I could probably add, you know, if I really wanted to, Denam, you know I could probably add in some more stuff to make you guys a part of my empire too, and just own everything over there. Hmm. <laughs> I won't do that because I'm a nice guy. And I believe in not conquering you guys at this current point in time. I'm kind of just focusing in on Korea. Because Korea is actually, Korea is a really good country to own. Like by anyone. If you could be China, Japan, or any European, Korea is a really good country to own. And they're really going to provide a good, like, you know, battlefield, I guess. Well, not battlefield, but good land for me. Which is what I need, because then I could probably use that to go, and if China breaks up, I could probably use that to go and go destroy China even more. Which China then gives you, like, major population boost. And then, and then from there I could use that population boost to go destroy the rest of the Europeans. And take my rightful revenge against each one of them. Um, I think for the Italian revenge, I think we're almost done with them, though. I think, like, one more piece of territory from them... Or maybe like dividing, or like splitting up and making two Sicilies. It's probably gonna be the last thing I'm gonna do with them. Something's happening with. Oh my goodness, you guys! What did you do to your country? Seriously, what did you do with your country? That's not supposed to happen. Hey. Okay, got reinforcements. That's good. All right, psychosis. I probably could get that steel railroad. Let's get some steel railroads. Cause I'm pretty sure I'm done with my other railroads, right? Yeah. Let's go build some steel railroads. Yeah. Austria. Yeah, and get more jingoism. Yeah, I love my I love I love my country right now. It's so jingoistic. It's so like look at this. Look how jingoistic we are. We are so pro military and so jingoistic. It's not even funny. We're like, we just have to be at war. There was just no other way. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Yeah. Alright, willy nilly. Alright, and you guys, let's see, how did you guys finally break through this fort? No. You guys still haven't broken through this fort, and you guys actually think you guys are going to be able to conquer me. You guys are idiots. Okay, you guys go over here, though. You guys are like one of my new armies. And I could actually build a pretty big army if, if like, I had enough factories to do it. I think that's the main problem in my campaign right now, is that, is that there are not enough people or actual, like, yeah, they're really... Oh, whoa, I was like, there's only 212, oh yeah, there's only 18,000 capitalists in my country. Which, for a country of my stature, I need like thousands. I need at least like a hundred cake, you know, capitalists building my country, but there are none, so. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to switch off from this soon, or at least try to influence it to be very reactionary. Because this is just, this is just too insane. Alright, you about ready to give up, Korea? Because I'm about ready to not do this anymore. Seriously, like, seriously, we're done. We're done, Korea. We're done. We're done. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to make the conservatives mad. That's a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, just so I can start getting some war score, uh, go, go start blockading some of the land over there in the Gulf of Token, so we can just start getting some war score against them. And then you guys teach down the last three provinces of Korea. Because there really is not much more point. And it's going to become ours. It's going to become ours. 
go down here. Okay, let's go see over here. Oh, and then finally, there's something going on with China right now. They're at war. China, you guys are at war with... What? Okay, apparently there's a, nas a nationwide revolt going on right now. I need to go check out all my... There's apparently some kind of revolt going on right now, which I need to go check it out because... I need to go see what colonies are affected right now. Alright, apparently this colony... Okay, you guys, go hunt down and go kill. Okay, there's none over here, just over here, over here, none over there, a couple over here. Probably gonna have to send one more army down, though. Probably once I build this army up, I'm probably gonna go send it down to, uh, Austria-Hungary. So I'm probably gonna need to go send some soldiers down there. Alright, but yeah, this army over here is probably gonna control my entire Pacific, my, my entire Pacific conquest. Hopefully I'll be able to keep uh, Korea underneath my control. I hopefully. I mean, I really don't know. This could really... <laughs> no, this would be such a douchey move. No. I'll keep minimum wage. Don't worry. I'm not going to be a jerk and just not give minimum wage. Yeah, I don't want to, but... Okay, let's, yeah, let's increase our... Let's, let's decrease the build time, by the way. And intervene immediately! We're about to be done with this war! I can't wait! We're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there! Kaboom! We're almost there! The Tupium Tomb! Yay! Okay, Korea, you guys are mine. How would you guys not accept this? I have basically all your country underneath me. Ugh. I'm gonna have to really fight Denam. Dang it. Okay, Denam, you guys are gonna be an annoying pest for like the next couple of years. I'm not even gonna. Wow. The Hungarian Red Guards. Okay. They're not... <laughs> okay, you just... Okay, I thought if they were nationalists, I'd be kind of worried about them conquering that entire island. But they're just... They're just National Guard members. National... I mean, Red Guards. Red Guards aren't really going to do anything, especially in my colony. They're just going to be mad and pout and do whatever. But they're not going to be able to change my country. Especially from over there. I'm just going to be like, hey, so you trying to change my country? Well, it's not going to work. <laughs> I have better country than you do, so, ah, uh, so, let's just go get our soldiers on here, let's go invade Denam, because Denam wants to be a jerk right now, and not give me what I want, even though they really aren't, of course not, okay, Korea, you finally gonna give up, thank you, thank you, Korea, good thing you guys were sensible about this, seriously, alright, now we got 2.9 more population, more taxes are given to us. Look at that. Our influence has so spread. Alright, and with this army right over here, what I'm going to do is go conquer back a lot of my other land. And now trans... Embrace the Czechoslovakian major ma minority? Of course I'll do that! Heck yeah! If I can embrace someone and make them not so mad at me, i love to do that! Uh, embrace the quite... Hmm. The Croatian... Huh, how much is Croatian in my country? Okay, so I accept Southern German, I accept Hungarian, I accept uh, Czech, Polish, I don't really accept Polish actually. Romanian, there are just so many ethnicities. Okay, Croatian is like 2% of my population. So is that a lot? Because, I don't know, is, is somebody a mathematician out there? Cause, well, actually, it's it's really just times each other to get the numbers I need to know to see if that's actually a lot of people. I, I really don't know if that's a lot of people. Like, I have so... Mexican thrall. So, the dictatorship is not what used to be. Increased pluralism combined with extended political reforms have led to a dictatorship more and more taking on the trapping of democracy. Oh, so they basically became a democracy. Okay. That's fine with me. I don't really care, but good job, Mexico, for seeing the lights. Okay, and we just upgraded that because we could, uh, cycle, yeah, let's try to get this, because, I mean, just, I guess having the option to, like, have more people accepted as a total complete culture, I guess is always a good thing. And let's see, we can build more soldiers, we can now build four soldiers, let's see, I think four more soldiers is probably what we need, and then we're probably done building soldiers in, uh, at least army men, and then we can finally start building other stuff. Moralism. I really don't know. What are we? So, we're, we're, we're definitely moralistic. We're very, very moralistic. Okay, because I was, I was wondering about that. I was like, what are we? 
Okay, now I finally have a definitive answer. Now we're getting assimilation rate, which is great. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys 30% more Jinduism. Yay! Next time!